Hi friends, it's good to be back. Travis and I have missed seeing you and we are excited that we're here. I know it's so exciting we're back and we're here for a brand new series that we're going to be talking about for the next four weeks and I have missed being on the video and not doing the little videos with you and I've seen a few of you at church when we've done our open air services outside. I'm excited that hopefully we can come pick those up as the weather. I know, I know, we had some really sunny days and then it rained, huh? Lots and lots of rain. That's, but we need it, yep, we do. So I, our new series is right here. It, the words are right there. It says, Jesus cares. Jesus cares, we're gonna be, t uh, yeah, he does, Jesus does. He cares for all of you. And that's what our lessons are gonna be about, how Jesus cares for you and how you can care for each other. Did you know that you can also care for others? Oh, really? Travis thinks he's too little to care for others. I don't think so. Let's listen to our story and then let's think about ways that we can show we care for others, just like Jesus has taught us that he cares for us. So friends, our story today comes from the book of Luke in the Bible. I have my Bible right here, my big Bible. And it's about a man who he couldn't walk. No, he couldn't, he couldn't walk. He, his legs didn't work. And Jesus was alive back then on the earth and he was healing people and telling them about his love and just going around taking care of people. And this man, he wanted to be healed so badly. I, I know, yeah, what? He just needed to get to Jesus, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. But remember, he couldn't do what? Yeah, he couldn't walk. So that made it a little bit difficult to get to Jesus. So the Bible tells us that Jesus was in town. And then if you look on our storyboard, you can kind of see the picture is right here of the man. And maybe some of that's going to give you a clue. There is, there's a hole in the roof. I'll get to that. There is a hole in the roof. Travis did note there is a hole in the roof of the picture that we're looking at. I know we're going to get to that. So that man couldn't walk but he wanted to get to Jesus, so his friends put him on a stretcher. They were taking care of him. And the Bible tells us that they tried to get him to Jesus, but it was too crowded. Yeah, you see that? There, there, are, there are a lot of people there. That looks very crowded. Um, that's true. <laughs> and he couldn't get there. They just couldn't get him in to see Jesus. The crowds were too big. But his friends had an idea. It, it does, it, they did. <laughs> Travis says it looks like they put a hole in the roof. And they did. Now, no, it did not take a drill or a jackhammer. No, I thought, that's um, a thought for today because our roofs are made of hard, hard things, uh, bricks and tiles and different things and wood. But back then, their roofs were made of mud yeah, it would get a little dirty. And straw, they kind of packed them together to make these thatched roofs, they were called. So pretty much all they had to do was cut a hole in it. It does seem a little, yeah, it seems like it might have been probably a little cold and maybe not the best if it's raining, but um, that's the way they built them back then. And it, they did do a good job. They had good, strong roofs but they cut a hole in it and they lowered their friend down with rope down to see Jesus. He is, he's right in the middle. That's right. They got his friend in to see Jesus. And when he was there, there were some other people in the room. They were called Pharisees. Now Pharisees, it is, it's a different word, isn't it? Yeah. They were supposed to be men of God, and the Bible says some of those Pharisees, they looked good on the outside. You, you do, you know where this is going? Yeah, he's heard this one before. They look good on the outside, but sometimes people look good on the outside and then what's wrong? Yep, their heart is not good. 
and their hearts were not good. And so they started saying, what is this guy doing? And Jesus looked at him and said, your sins are forgiven. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he, he obviously wanted to be healed and needed to walk, but more importantly, Jesus said, your heart, look at your heart, your sins are forgiven. And now the Pharisees, the guys that didn't have a clean heart, they said, you, what are you doing? You can't do this. Only the Son of God can do this. And you're taking the, the easy way. You're just saying stuff. And Jesus said, hmm, is it easier to say your sins are forgiven? Or is it easier to say, rise up and walk? And at that point, Jesus said, rise up and walk. Your sins are forgiven. Jesus did both. He didn't just do one. He did both. He forgave his sins, which only Jesus can do. And he healed the man and said, rise up and walk, which only Jesus can do. I know, it's great. Jesus did both things for the man and the Pharisees, they didn't like that. But you know what? Maybe they had a heart change. I would only hope so. I would think that maybe they could see that God can do the impossible. He can do anything. With God, all things are possible. It, yes, I know, that's right. You want me to look? Oh, Travis wants me to look in his heart because he's got something in his heart that's uh, with that. Okay, hold on. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, it's right here. You have, Travis has a heart in his heart. That's pretty funny. You have a heart inside of your heart. Aw, it does. It actually it has our memory verse on it. It says, with God, all things are possible or everything. With God, everything is possible is actually what that's written there. Matthew 19, 26. That's right. With God, everything is possible. So, oh, he, you do? Okay, okay. Travis wants to show us something that's in our heart bucket. And I get it. Okay, we were talking about ways that you can show care just like jesus cares for us jesus gives us a heart so that we can care for others so travis has some ideas and it, okay well, we've got a heart bucket and there's some papers in there mm, i see look at this one what do you think is going on there it does it looks to me like they are caring for each other and helping to pick up the toys. That is a good way to show that we care, huh? Oh, there's another one. What is this one? Oh, look at that one, friends. Looks like he's showing care. I know you can't see, can you, Travis? No, he's trying to, trying to see the camera too. <laughs> he's showing care by helping his friend who fell down and scraped his knee. He's showing care. Oh, okay. So Travis is telling me that these papers and some more are attached to this week's coloring sheet that goes out. So if you get that downloaded, you can see there's some other ones. You can color them and cut them and think about ways that you can care for others. And I know friends, there's also one of these papers in there that are just hearts. And I want you to get that. You can download it, cut those out, and see if you can think about ways that you can care for others. I would love it if you could write them, maybe do a video clip and send them to the church so we can see ways that you're thinking about how you can care for others. So that would be a fun thing that we could talk about next week if some of you could send those in. That would be super fun. So anyways, friends, I hope you have an amazing week and Travis and I are gonna do some thinking. We are, we're gonna do some thinking and see if we can fill out some things on those little heart cards and see about ways that other ways we can think we can care for others. But let's bow our heads and let's pray and let's thank Jesus for this beautiful day. Jesus, we just thank you for all the things that we have. 
Father, I just ask that you would bless the kids that are listening and their families, God, and that you would just help them know that you care for them and help them think of ways that they can care for others, Jesus, because with you, all things are possible. They're not too little, they're not too young, and they can show your love to those around. I love you, Jesus. Have an amazing week, guys. Amen. Yes, amen. <laughs> That's right. All right. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.